start working with pastels and we're going to do a landscape. And always remember your rule of thirds when you're working. In other words, do not make your horizon line right in the middle. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this picture and fold it down a little bit to exaggerate my rule of thirds so that I'm not working that way. But start with a basic idea again. So horizon line, I'm going to start with a light color pastel because it's always easier to make things darker. Really hard to make things lighter. And I'm going to just kind of sketch in the different lines that it has here. And you've got this whatever is, is it a pier? It's a pier and a lighthouse. And I'll kind of sketch that in really lightly. And I made that too big and that's okay because look at this. You can just kind of, see, when you use a light pastel, you can just smear it down. All right, so here's the lighthouse instead. And we'll make that little top. Oh, that looks pretty good. Rule of thirds, thirds, good to go. All right, now, I'm just going to start with my little nubby thing here and start with the lightest color pastel. And the light color pastel is going to start with the sky, the yellow, yellow. It's mostly yellow. You pick the local color, which on this is kind of yellowish, and just start getting some pastel in there because you need something to work with. Now I'm going to grab orange because I like orange, and this looks orange. And, oh my lord, that's a bright orange. That might be too bright. What do you think, people? Well, do you know how to dull out a bright color? Do you, Miss Color Theory people? You take the opposite color. What's the opposite of orange? Hmm, light blue. Blue! Oh, thank you, <laughs> light blue. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blue on there and see what happens. <gasps> when I smear it, it does dull it out. See, that's not dull. That's all bright which you might want, but if I put a little bit of blue in with it and smudge it in, it dulls out my color. All right, so what you're going to want to do is just keep adding color over the top and keep adding until you have enough for smudging with either your fingers or a piece of paper or whatever. And we're going to do this lighthouse thing and I'm smushing it on there. Now you notice I've got it. I don't know what that is. Orangey, red, pink, purple, polka dotted. Oh, that's too dark. Oh, no. Mrs. Addison's making a mess out of stuff. It's okay because she knows that when you're blending color, you can start light like this, and you can always add some colors over the top. Look what happens when I add a little bit of white light color to that dark red. It starts to blend it in a little bit and have it make it be a little softer. Very nice. Thank you very so much. Oh, it needs a little purple. Mm, we'll just throw a little bit in there so that when I blend it, it starts to get some of that purple stuff in there. All right, so you're getting the idea of blending color. Oh, no, what happens if you make it too dark? Hmm, where's that white color? Where's the light color? I lost it. I found it. Don't worry, people. All right, so you can see that if you start with colors that are a little too dark to start with, it is a little bit harder to blend colors, but you can always go back and blend things in if you start light. So that's why you always like to start light and be careful with small pieces of color. Now I'm going to start with this lighthouse thing. And it's actually not white, because this is white. That's gray-ish. It's in shadow. So I'm going to put some gray on here, gray on there. The ocean, or whatever that is, the sea, it's kind of a bluish color, but I'm going to start with a lightish, grayish color all over the place so it all works together nicely. It has a nice underlayment of a color to it. And this is like, put some ocean blue in there. Ocean blue, sea blue, whatever it is, and blend colors together. So what you're going to just keep doing is overlapping color. You can't have one color on it. You have to always blend the colors together. Okay? And then you can start light to dark. So I will add some dark in here for the pier. And I will figure out where the, some of this stuff goes. I can't draw and talk at the same time because then my right brain you can see I have a little bit more on here and a couple things I need to mention is that when you're doing the pastel strokes you kind of want, you kind of, you do want to go in the direction that the actual uh, picture is going, the stroke. So in other words the ocean is kind of the waves are going horizontal so I don't want to draw waves like this because then I'll have scribbles on my 
paper, see they don't go away. So you want to kind of do the brush strokes or the chalk strokes the same direction as things are going in your picture. Same with the sky. And so I'm blending in some of the blues. And then I can go back and put some of that light purpley, pinky, whatever that is in there. I never know the names of the colors. I just put them in my nice drawing. See, so I have some of these in there. And I'm going to make them layer by putting a white color on top. I saw a whatever this is. Oh, very nice. Okay, so you can add different strokes of color. And then you're going to want to go back after you get it all taken care of. And this is not quite done. I would add more yellows. Go in and add your final super bright contrasting colors with some nice strokes of pastel and kind of leave them. You don't have to blend everything in. You can have some nice details. Like I would go back with the pastel and hopefully make some of the areas here work a little bit better and draw a little bit more specific lines once I know I have them where I want them. And same with this pier, I would draw some lines if I know that's where I want things to be like here it is right here. Okay, so details come last, very dark contrast comes last, and as always, clean up your edges before you say you are done. I am a stickler about edges, so make sure they're clean and clear. Now, you're going to get all kinds of pastel juice and junk and everywhere on your picture. Don't blow it off. <gasps> what you do is you take your tin plate and you're going to your plate or your top and dip it off in there because look at the mess you're going to get on your desk. Anyway, this is the beginning of a pastel. It's about halfway done and you would continue until you get everything covered and every all the details on.